Hello everybody and welcome back to the 2018 Granny Squares Crochet Along. Today is another true crochet along because I have not practiced this square yet so we are crocheting it together. Uh, today's square is diamond window panes so I have our chart, my yarn and hook and of course my coffee all ready to go. So for this one we are going to start with chaining six. And then slip stitching to our first chain to create that ring. And then we are going to chain five, which counts as our first double crochet and our two chain corner. Next we need three double crochets into the ring. Chain two for your next corner. And then three more double crochets into the ring. Two more for chains for your next corner. And continue that until you'll just do two double crochets in your last one and connect to your third chain there that you made. Perfect. Once you've made those last two double crochets, then we will slip stitch to the third chain that we made at the beginning there. And that's the end of the first round. Then we're going to chain one. This does not count as a stitch, but we're going to single crochet into that same stitch. And then we're going to put four single crochets into our corner chain two space here. Then we're going to single crochet into the next three double crochets here that we made and repeat that all the way around with four single crochets in each of your four corners and a single crochet in each of your double crochets along the sides. And when we get back we will slip stitch to our first starting single crochet. Awesome, once we get back to the start and slip stitch to our first single crochet there, we will once again chain one and single crochet into that same stitch. We're going to single crochet into the next stitch, so the first of the four single crochets in the corner, and then we are going to one, two, three, four, five, sorry chain five for our corner, skip two single crochets, and single crochet into the last of the four in the corner there. And then we're going to single crochet in the next three along the side here. And then we're ready to start that corner again, so we'll single crochet in the next one which is the first of the four of our corner, chain five, skip two, and then single crochet in the next one there. We'll continue that all the way around till we get to our first single crochet and we'll slip stitch to the beginning. Awesome, so that is the end of round three. Now to start round four, we're going to want to slip stitch over into our corner chain space here. And we will chain three to count as our first double crochet. And we need two more double crochets into this space. And we will chain two and work three more double crochets into that corner chain space. Then we were, we're going to chain two
can skip these next two single crochets and double crochet in the middle one here. <clears throat> Chain two again and then work in our corner. Three double crochets. Chain two and then three more double crochets and then you're going to continue this all the way around so after your corner you'll chain two skip two single crochets and double crochet in the middle single crochet there and then chain two and then work your corner again Perfect, so there's the end of round four. Now we are going to chain three again to start our fifth round. And that counts as our first double crochet. And we are going to double crochet into the next two stitches here. And then we are going to work our corner the same way as we have been with the three double crochets, chain two, and then three double crochets. Three, and then double crochet into the next three stitches here. Then we're going to put two double crochets into the chain space. And we will chain one and we're going to skip over this double crochet in the middle there and put two double crochets into the next chain space. Double crochets in the next three stitches. And then we are ready to work our corner again of three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. So just continue that along the side with double crochets in each stitch, two double crochets in each chain space, and then a chain as you skip over each middle double crochet that we did. And then we'll slip stitch back to the beginning. Perfect, now that Round five is done. That is our little diamond. So we are just going to bring our square up to size now. So we are going to start with a round of double crochets. Um, looks like we are slip stitch into the corner, but that is quite a ways. So forgive me, I'm just going to chain three right here and start right here because all we are doing this round is double crocheting in each stitch and one double crochet in each of the chain spaces along our sides and our corners are exactly the same as we've been doing all along with the three double crochets and I'm at the corner right now three double crochets and chain two and three more double crochets. And go ahead and just double crochet in each stitch along the side and one in the chain space in the middle there. And slip stitch back to your starting chain three wherever that was. <laughs> Awesome, now that we've slip stitched back to our first starting chain three, that is the end of round six. And how gorgeous is the square looking? <laughs> so at this point, you may want to get out your ruler or another square and just kind of measure to see what size your square is at because that's going to determine what you want your next round to be. So I crochet so loose and I am almost at six inches already. Other People on our team have needed another entire round of double crochets here. I think I am just going to go with a round of single crochets to bring my square up to six inches. 
So you definitely do what you got to do to get your square to the size that matches all your others between single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. We're just going to go along each stitch and work the corners same way as you did previously. So there we have it. There is our diamond window pane. I hope you enjoy crocheting along with me and I hope you enjoy your square as much as I enjoy mine. See you next time.